Hello everyone, it's Pastor Dave here with another Thursday Thoughts segment when we say goodbye to the Gospel of the Week behind and say hello to the one to come. Now this last Sunday, we talked about John chapter three, which includes the famous verse, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, etc., etc., that so many of us are familiar with. And actually, as we talked about on Sunday, it's not as simple as it seems. And I want to rest on that today. Now, I am not suggesting that in order to know or understand the Bible, you have to have a doctorate or know Greek or spend a ton of time analyzing it. That's not at all true. Meanings can become apparent to anyone and do become apparent to everyone as we read scripture. Everyone sees something different in it and that is part of its beauty. Nothing and no one in your life should ever take that away. But the problem comes precisely when we think that whatever meaning we find, simple or complex, is the meaning and there are no others and it's as simple as that. It is never as simple as that. Even John 3.16 that we're all familiar with has layers upon layers upon layers of meaning, each of which branches out in a different direction and more importantly, each end of which can touch different people. And when we say it's simple, there's only one meaning and it's this, what we really mean is the gospel only touches me and people who think like this and that scripture will not let you do. Every time you think you've got it in your hands contained, it slips right out and touches someone else in a different way. It rests on each of us, but it will not rest with any of us. Now, this is important, not just in interpreting scripture, but in thinking about our lives of faith. One of my difficulties as a pastor is a lot of people, seem to want to have sermons be simple. Just give me the answer. Just make it simple so I can understand it. And indeed, translating to the people around you is part of the job. I hope I'm relatively decent at it. At the same time, if I give you the simple answer and you walk out of this video or this room thinking, ha, huh, now I've got it, A, you don't got it, B, I didn't do it right, and C, both of us are betraying the immensity and complexity of God and the wide range of people that God touches and inspires. It can't just be simple. There's always something more. The simple realization is part of it, but we have to also look on the horizon to see where else this goes. So next time you are tempted to say, this is it, I've got the answer, piping up in a Bible study saying, here it is, everybody listen to me, people should listen to you. But that's not the only person that people should listen to, and that's not the only thing God is saying to any of us. We will see you again on Sunday, and we're gonna actually move to John chapter 12, talking about an agricultural metaphor with grains and seeds and stuff, which will be fun for all of us, I hope. Until then, God bless and be with you.